Hello, Internetians, and welcome to the Accursed Game. <laughs> this is Star Fox Command. It's theoretically possible for me to beat this in one sitting, but it probably won't happen. It's probably going to be two. Years ago, a scientist named Dr. Andros became obsessed with controlling the Lilat system. He launched wave after wave attack fighters from the remote planet of Venom and ordered them to strike the planet Corneria, the heart of the Lilat system. However, four brave pilots who made up a squadron known as Star Fox finally put an end to the Doctor's mad ambitions. Andross himself was defeated by the leader of Star Fox, a brilliant pilot named Fox McLeod. In the time that followed, Venom became known as a quarantined planet. Due to that reputation and the frequent patrols carried out by the members of the coronary military, it has been years since anyone has set foot on the planet's surface. But after a period of quiet, Venom struck back with devastating attacks on the Lilat system. Any and all attempts at resistance were brushed aside, and soon all cities came under the grip of this new terrifying enemy. The occupiers were known as the Anglars, and operated under the control of the Anglar Emperor. Their headquarters were located in the Toxic Venom Sea, a vast ocean so inhospitable that it was believed no living thing could survive there. The members of Star Fox, the heroic and famous squadron that had come to Lilat's aid in her hour of need, had disbanded. Each pilot was living a new life, and it would prove a difficult task to bring the former team members back together. Fox McCloud, the team's leader, was wandering the galaxy with his friend Rob, a navigation robot that he inherited after his father's passing. Fox used this time to tie up a few loose ends and also ponder the course his life had taken. The Cornerian military hero, General Pepper, fell ill and could no longer lead as he once did. He recommended that Peppy Hare, Star Fox team member and father figure to Fox, be promoted and given command of all Cornerian forces. Brash pilot Falco Lombardi lived as a loner. He drifted from job to job, searching for the same thrill he felt as a member of Star Fox, but his existence was mostly an empty one, something that annoyed him more than he would admit. The technical brains behind the team, and Fox's closest friend, was the good-natured Slippy Toad. Slippy met and fell in love with a girl named Amanda, and decided to leave the world of flying and start a new life with his beloved fiance. Star Wolf, the true rivals of Star Fox, continued to be involved in dirty dealings. Their work soon caught the attention of the Cornarian military, who put a massive bounty on their heads. And finally, Crystal, the lone female of the group. She had fought beside Fox and fell in love with him, much against her better judgment and professional concern. Her love was returned, however, and the two promised to remain together always. But Fox was quite wary of the danger that haunted pilots in the elite Star Fox squadron, and he eventually forced Crystal to leave the team. Heartbroken and ashamed, she fled from Fox and vanished soon after. No one knows what became of her. Now, the past has come to haunt them all. Unwilling or unable to face his former team, Fox has chosen to take on the entire Anglo Armada by himself. Can he do it? Will the team put aside their differences and reunite? All Lilat waits for the answer. The cities of Corneria are coming under attack. The Anglar forces are responsible. Those guys don't know when to give up. Rob, set a course for Corneria. Understood. How long will it take to reach our destination? I am still processing that information, but it will be some time. I will now instruct you on engaging the Anglar forces in combat. The Anglar forces use a hive mind. One unit with a mo unit one unit with a core controls many ships. If you can find and disable cores, other ships in the unit will be neutralized. Destroy enemies to find their cores, then fly over them to collect them. Doing so will increase your combat superiority over the enemy. So, let me see if I've got this straight. I pick out a target, then I destroy it and collect a core if it has one. And if I do all that, good things happen. Do I have the gist of it? Yes, and also let me tell you about your Arwing's rolling ability. When you roll, you create a localized magnetic field. This field can be used to attract cores and other vital pickups. That's great, Rob. Rolling helps me avoid enemy fire and lets me grab stuff. Now you're talking my language. Yes, rolling is a very important skill. You will use it many times during combat. Gotcha. This is your first taste of combat in a while. In quite a while, may I set up some training? I await your decision. As you wish. We've reached Corneria already. Affirmative. 
we will be entering the combat zone shortly. Looks like we're going to be busy. Corneria, the adventure begins. We have entered into orbit around Corneria, awaiting your instructions. What's the situation down there? My sensors are picking up multiple enemy contacts. The Angular forces have total control of Corneria. Huh. Any other good news to throw my way? You will see a time display when you engage an enemy in combat. This is your remaining flight time. If it reaches zero, you will run out of fuel. And then you will plummet to an unfortunate end. Do not. Do be careful. <laughs> well, if I get taken out, it's all up to you, Rob. You are joking. Ha ha ha. That is a joke, correct? Uh, let's pray it actually loads me into the ability to play. Let's go. Yeah, I think, uh... Enemy sighted, dead ahead. You or me? Uh, me. Well, because I'm in the same scenario. I, I'm literally waiting for story stuff to finish. I can't do anything! <laughs> How the hell do you beat the fucking first goddamn level? Are you on the... Are you just stuck on the first level? Yeah. This game oh, is God. fucking stupid and I hate it. Why does this look familiar? This? Yeah. Uh... Have you ever been to hell before? No, I swear I've seen someone play this. <laughs> because it's this is a lot like hell. Any new information for me, Rob? The enemy fighters consist mostly of aluminum. They also contain trace amounts of chrome. So what does that mean? Their ships are impervious to corrosion. They can even survive in the caustic venom sea. I see. So, their home base is located in the venom sea. Okay, time to make a plan. What is our next destination? I want to increase our firepower. But I'm worried about an enemy attack. We've got to do something, and fast. Right now, we're just sitting ducks. Contact with Slippy is now possible. This is Fox. Slippy, come in. Slippy, respond. Slippy here? It's been a long time, buddy. Sure has. How are you? Great, thanks. I'm happy to see you're doing well, old friend. Do you think you can join me? Of course. I'd really like your help fighting the Anglar forces. Say no more. I'm on my way. Send me the data for the rendezvous. Rob, send Slippy the data he asked for. Sending data now. Woo! It's been a while since I saw combat. I was kind of nervous. You really helped me out, Slippy. <laughs> Let's keep taking the fight to the Anglar forces. Are you with me? Sure, buddy. Anything for you. Thanks. I bet Peppy's been run ragged since he became a Corarian general. Yeah. I heard that General Pepper had been confined to his sickbed. I'm glad they were able to find a replacement. I'm just glad they made Peppy a general. General Pepper is a good judge of character, eh? True enough. We need to get in contact with Peppy somehow. Yeah, I'm worried about him too. Intercepting a signal from Ficina. It is an emergency request for support addressed to General Pepe. Do you know who sent the signal? Someone named Lucy. Lucy? That's Pepe's granddaughter, isn't it? You're right. That probably means she's in danger, too. God damn it. I don't want to just do the main line shit. I want to diverge from the plot, from the defined plot, but it just seems like the logical answer to most things. Rob, have you managed to locate Lucy? She will be in one of the nearby cities. Let's just hope she's okay. Last I heard, she was teaching astrophysics. Really? Well, I'll be. That doesn't sound like the Lucy that I knew. She was a real tomboy. Always wanted to become a pilot. But I guess she became a teacher instead. Wasn't she good friends with Crystal? She might know how to track her down. We're done talking about that, Slippy. Sorry. Okay. Let's go and get him. 
I really hope they give me any diverging plot from the one that I already know. Let's go. On my way. I wonder where Lucy is. Let's liberate that in this area and hope that she shows. Yeah, first things first. Let's pound those enemy bases. No. For this stupid fucking game. I was like, oh, this is no big deal. I killed one of them. I just gotta take on two of them as Fox, who is the inferior character, by the way. But no, the game said, fuck you. Apparently, you g they all respawn if you don't kill them all in one go. Hmm. And mind you, the only reason I lost it in the first time was the time limit. Because I started the fucking match with 10 seconds to kill all three members of Star Wolf on my own. How did they expect me to do that? I hate this game. I fucking despise this game. Well, let's see how long you can go for. I hate that frog. You and me both. I hate this fucking game, dude. They really just set out to make the most infuriating thing possible. Those guys never learn, do they? Yeah. They're good pilots and all, but... Whoa! That was a close one. Lucy, you made it. How are you feeling? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Look, my... Message made it to Dad, right? Um, not exactly. We just happened to intercept your message. Oh, I see. Don't worry. Peppy can't be beaten so easily. You, you're right. I'm sure he's fine. Yeah, I wouldn't worry. Hey, Fox. Listen to this. I found out who's leading the invasion of Pachina. It's that jerk Oikini. Did you say Oikini? He's a nasty piece of work. They're using these huge weapons as part of their strategy. It's awful. We can't let this continue. Fox, I have a thought. I think we need more information about the enemy. I'm with you. It's foolish for us to stumble from one fight to another. You know, my dad's at the asteroid station, right? It's possible that he may know something that may... That can help. Okay. So, where do we go from here? We are receiving an urgent message. It is from Commissioner Beltino. Fox, please respond. This is Commissioner Beltino Toad. Dad, you're okay. That's great news. Oh, it's Slippy there, too. Hello, son. Hey, of course I'm here. Commissioner, I'm glad you're not hurt. Get here as quickly as you can. I have something important to tell you. Roger that. We'll set up a course to your location. Take care, Commissioner. Okay, I'll be waiting for you. Wait there, Dad. I'll be there soon. But first, we need to do something about the enemies in this sector. Let's get every last core. Rob, prep all ships for launch. Consider it done. I swear, sometimes the game just, like, doesn't care where I aim. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it just straight up doesn't matter. You ever get in trouble because your girlfriend has a twin sister and you got confused and fucked her dad? And she slaps you with a wet spaghetti noodle? That's what it feels like to drop a fire stone. You have brought this upon yourself, so... You're not wrong. Also, I just ran out of time as I killed the last enemy, and it now is going to make me do the whole thing over again. <laughs> I hate this game. It's miserable. Yeah. Oh, I think I just lost. Also, they don't tell you where Fal when or where Falco is going to come in from, so... 
I I can't plan around it in this turn-based strategy game. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. I Do you like see the problem here? With no indication of when said person will come in that I need. Yeah. Because, like I said, it didn't tell me. But now that I know Falco comes in at the top, it's probably the optimal strategy to have everybody else just play defensive until he gets here. And then have Falco just gank the base. But they didn't tell me that. Because, God forbid, they make this game playable. Oh my god, that worked? What? You made it. Aw, oh, look. The whole gang's here. I forgot what voice I gave this guy literally already. <laughs> Are you okay, Dad? I'm great, son. Out of bed and full of beans. But more importantly, I have come across some critical information. What do you mean? It's about those dastardly anglars. They're building a base on the floor of the Venom Sea. That's nuts! Everyone knows the Venom Sea is extremely acidic. Nothing can survive down there. I'm sure you remember that villain Andros. Well, I think he has something to do with this. Oh, shit. Andros is involved. Andros! Andros deployed a new bioweapon on Venom. He's used it to evolve himself and seize control of localized life forms. Wait, wait! You're saying this bioweapon contains Andros's DNA? And that it causes living creatures to follow his orders? That's bad news. So what does that mean for us? That's harder to say, but we know Andros is fiercely intelligent. And when you combine that with his lust for power, I think you're in for a fight like nothing you've faced before. Why do we always have to fight this loser? Yeah, yeah, enough talk. Let's blow something up. Fox, are you really gonna head to Venom with just two wingmen? Don't you need Crystal's help too? I heard a rumor that the Cornarian Air Force was itself, has itself a hot new pilot. And by hot, I don't just mean talented. <laughs> Man, I'm hilarious. Whatever you say, Falco. Yeah, so Fox, Falco's a jerk, but he's right. You need to patch things up with Crystal. I agree, Fox. Why are you all getting involved in my love life? <laughs> no, I don't need to know all the details, but I know the future of Lila is in your hands. By the time to... It's time to bury the hatchet and move on. Isn't your job to bring out the best in your team? Your whole team? Okie dokie. Let's give Vox's R-Wing an upgrade. This'll really make those anglers panic. Thank, Commissioner. This is called a multi-lock. It lets you lock onto multiple enemies at once. You're the best, Pops. You think of everything. Good luck out there. Thank you. The Katina base is under attack and returning fire. Crystal, can you hear me? It's Fox. It's me, Fox. I've come to get you. I want you to rejoin the team. Prepped and ready for launch. Crystal, I'm coming to cover you. Save it, loser. I don't need your help. Crystal? <laughs> Never get covered from a fox when you can run to a panther. Growl. <laughs> panther! Uh, sorry, I'm switching to so many accents, you're gonna have to give me a second. <laughs> This is actually kind of difficult. <laughs> uh, British accent. You knew, didn't you, Fox? You should go home now. Hiss, yeah, run on home. We've got it covered here. Leon! That's right. There's a lot of anglers to smash, and I don't want to share. You have no role to play in this story. Shall we move on? Yes. Let's go. Damn. Tried to make up with Crystal. Enemy sighted. Let's go. Oh. Crystal, take care, my darling space. Um, 
uh, British. British? Um, yeah, okay, I'll do that. Beef. Crystal. Mind your business, Fox. Go find some other girl to pest her. The enemy is too close to the great box. Shoot them down. Balls underneath the disc are its weak point. I just realized a refrigerator in my game says that it was tested by penguins. Nice. That, that is the appropriate person to test it. Mm-hmm. Well, what did, the, what did the penguins think? It doesn't say that, it just says it, it was tested by penguins and that's it. Mm. Sounds like they're withholding some important information. I find it very funny that the Star Fox squad picked up some random lady who was, like, literally wearing a loincloth and speaking in, like, dinosaur language. Like, by the next game, they literally had her as a fucking ace pilot. You've got to be fucking kidding me! Oh my god! Bomb! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Crystal, my sweet, how are you well? Panther was worried. I'm fine, Bra Panther. Thanks. Fox, you still there? Yeah. Yeah, I'm here. It looks like you guys are heading for, for Venom. How will you survive those acidic oceans? We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. I suppose. Ha! Huh. Never thought I'd see the day. The great fox is a, at a loss for ideas. I guess you thought... I guess you thought you could do everything by yourself, right? That's not true. That's why I came to find you. I wanted to ask for your help. The crystal you once knew was gone. Uh, British. 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 British? She's no longer part of your world. Crystal, I was a fool. A selfish, rude, arrogant fool. Please, come back. British? Well, if you apologize to me in front of everyone, then maybe I'll think about it. Maybe. Hey, that's a start, man. Crystal, don't let this rogue change your mind. Let's get out of here. I'm sorry. What was that? I couldn't hear you. I'm sorry, Crystal. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Boo hoo. <laughs> I'm truly sorry. Please. Please come with me. I need you with me. This is absurd. Crystal, tell this loser where to stuff his army and let's go. I guess he's Russian now. Uh, duh, go with Fox. Crystal! Crystal, hooray! You and Fox made up! And what do you mean by that, Slippy Toad? You and your Fox did this, and Fox did that. You never get tired of talking about him, do you? Jeez, Crystal. Give me a, give a little fella a break. That, that's so mean! <laughs> so, Crystal... About the secret of Titania. If you know something, you need to tell us. Fine. A long time ago, Andros started developing a new machine. This device would make Venom a beautiful planet that could support life. Venom? Beautiful? Andros is deemed to be a dangerous fanatic and banished to Venom. He was condemned to a life of isolation and loneliness. That lousy ape is nothing more than a crazed maniac. You say that because he killed your father. But at that time, he was Corneria's chief science officer. He was also a close colleague of General Pepper. But they were like oil and water. Their infighting was the precursor to war. No, that's a lie. Andros ignored an order to halt his dangerous experiments. He was banished as punishment. His motives were pure, Fox. And he was ripped. And he. He just wanted to continue his research. He never asked for money or kickbacks of any kind. Yeah? Well, if he's so pure, why did we end up going to war? Enough! We don't have time to blab about the past right now. You're right, Faco. 
Let me continue. After Andros fought you, he dedicated his remaining planet days to planet Venom. He wanted to leave some sort of legacy, that's all. And now that device is on Titania. I'm sure he's hidden it, somewhere people would never look. Yes, that's it exactly. I imagine that one of his bioweapons is guarding that device. We're going to get that device. Crystal, you're coming too. Whatever. So the big plot twist is Andros wasn't really a bad guy. I gotta be honest, that's actually a pretty decent plot twist, all things considered. Throwing us all the way back to 64, huh? Hey, Crystal! How's the Cloud Runner treating you? I'm fine, Slippy. Thanks. Kid, you get, you and that ship belong to you. Stay focused. Here they come. Time to have Falco fight three things again with 21 seconds left. <laughs> Go back. I want to be monkey. How dare you say that blasphemy, Jaren? On what? live Star Fox st stream? Uh, no, I don't. Wow! Why would I ever play let's, a Star Fox? Let's again? play that. Let's play that back again, guys. Amazing, fascinating, incredible. Hang on, let's do that one more time. Incredible, fantastic game. Love this game. Fuck this game. Hope it dies. It did die. I know that for a fact. There's no canon games after this. It killed the whole franchise. You've got to be shitting me. Excuse me? I am the ghost of Andros. I protect this place with my bioweapon. Uh, Andros? A sand cloud is forming. Something's coming. Dune Worm. I mean, I never finished it yet, so... Pa! I've got you, your device right here. Man, bioweapons give me the heebie-jeebies. We've got the device. That's great news! Now we can enter the Venom Sea. Let's get back to base. Ow. I have an incredible pain. Yeah. Yeah. Crystal! Are you still the crystal we once knew? I... I can't believe it's really you! It's not me, Slippy. You're right. I'm a different person now. That's not true. You're the same crystal as you've always been. Have you forgotten about Saria? About how Fox rescued you? How he saved your life? And what about when you risked your life? To fight the Aperoids. Of course I remember. Don't be an idiot. Yeah, well, you could try, still try to be nicer to Fox. It's just a suggestion. Forget it. He had his chance and he blew it. You know, the love of my life is on Aquas right now. I left her there. I knew it was wrong. I knew it. But I did it anyway. If you love someone, you have to be together no matter how dangerous it is. Oh, Slippy. Oh, great. Now I'm gonna cry. <laughs> wow! Zazel. Yes, Your Excellency. They are coming. Do not concern yourself, Excellency. They cannot possibly make it this far. Unless, of course, they manage to find the device. I feel both anger and fear. It is unusual. It has been so long since I felt these things. Fascinating. Perhaps our creator's oldest enemy has come home at last. Don't get careless, Cezanne. Everything depends on this. No, Your Excellency. We're entering the Venom Sea now. Don't get careless on me. Watch your ships for any signs of corrosion. If you see anything, I want you to head to the, for the surface right away. I'm on it. Yes, sir. And what should I do? You've done your part. You can stay here or go back to Panther. I don't care. Tell me you didn't just say that. Hey, Fox, what the fuck was wrong with you? Fox, that was an awful thing to say! Slippy, that's not your concern. Worry about the guys who try to try, try to kill you. I'm in. I don't care what you said. I'm going back. I'm going to join the attack run. 
Fine. I am picking up multiple contacts. They are angler fighters. Team Star Fox, attack! What is the level of acidity? Sorry. I was doing so good for a while there. Only minimal traces remain. It's amazing. Now all we have to do is fight. Who wants a piece of Falco? It's the birth of a new venom. The enemy is too close to the great box. Shoot them down. I hate to admit I'm actually kind of enjoying this game. Come on! I had him, but I ran out of fucking fuel. I hate this fucking game. Why is fuel a mechanic? Who thought it was fine to make you have limited time in a fucking Star Fox game? Why did we decide that time limiting everything was necessary? They fucking put a thing in the center of the map that kills you if you go near it. Then they have the enemy camp around that thing non-fucking stop and then put you on a time limit so you have to approach it. And also he has a billion fucking L. Why? Oh my god, I'm just gonna lose the time again. Yep. This is the actual worst thing on the fucking planet. He just keeps fucking spinning around too, so I can't hit him. Which doesn't actually accomplish anything, it just wastes my fucking time! And since I have limited time, that's actually a problem! This is the most unfun, bullshit thing I've ever played! It's not even the health. I went into this thing with two fucking health, and I- it's not even the health that's the problem. Yeah. It's just, I run out of fucking time. Fuck this game, dude. Fuck. This. Game! My hands are fucking cramping up. It's just like these two fucking dudes. They're goddamn immortal. They have fucking more health than me. When I'm at full health. Never mind the fact that I go in with however much health I had before. Which is not full. They fucking juke around the map non-stop so I can't fucking shoot them. Literally, they're just design designed to not be fought. And they just fucking waste my time. They dodge the goddamn bombs, too. So it doesn't fucking matter. And they drop infinite fucking landmines. I get one bomb, but they get to drop infinite fucking landmines the whole fight. This game is actually fucking unplayable. No goddamn joke. No exaggeration whatsoever. And because it's a goddamn DS game, the, the second they move outside of like two feet away from me, they fucking disappear and become unshootable because the resolution is fucking two pixels. Literally just want to be done with this. I just want it to be over so I can do literally fucking anything else with my life. But no. They decided the last goddamn mission has fucking three dudes who are actually fucking immortal and you have to kill them in two seconds. This is actually fucking unplayable nonsense. This is now not my last life. Actually, yes it is, because I still don't have any ships anyway. Oh, cool, out of fuel. Literally, immediately deleted from the map. I can't do shit. <laughs> that was stupid. Yeah, it's almost like this game is fucking stupid. If I was playing this game on the actual console, I would snap my DS in half. You're the one subjecting yourself to this. It has to be done, it's the last one. It's the last game. And the only Star Fox game I've never beaten. You know, if they just had the enemies stay at the health they were at when you failed the mission for the next per for the next character to try, then this would actually be semi-tolerable. Okay. The problem is you have to kill them all in one run. Mm -hmm. And you have both limited health and limited time. 
Another problem is that your own fighter takes up so much of the screen that it's, sometimes it's hard to see the enemies, especially given the aforementioned two pixel resolution problem. The Venom Sea neutralized our forces in disarray. Disarray. I shall not let this happen. Anglar, welcome to the last day of your empire. Silence, fool. All will bend the knee to me. Oh boy, I sure do love having 30 seconds to kill the final boss. Come on, come out of your fucking hole so I can shoot you. You time limit me and then hide from me. What the fuck? Literally fucking impossible. Actually fucking impossible. The problem is I can't aim while rolling. And I can't stop rolling or I'll instantly die. Also, the thing is just sitting off screen, apparently. It's not gonna give me any more time and I'm just gonna instantly lose. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god, dude. This is absurd, dude. Oh my god, the time limit's gone. But I still have one fucking health. This is actually impossible. Oh my god. Oh my god. I got to the final boss with one life and one fucking health. And I just, it's just impossible now. I'm basically just soft lock. It's over. This is actually impossible. That that really sucks, man. Yeah, this is actually unplayable. This game is fucking trash. Hello, welcome to my funeral. This is unplayable and I hate it. And I want to die. This is upsetting. Stop upsetting me. Fuck you, dude. You've been upsetting me literally this entire time. Without end. Please, just keep doing the same two attacks. Because I've actually learned to dodge them. So... I actually have a chance if you just keep doing the same two attacks. Oh my god! What the fuck? I actually started to have a chance, so the game decided to do this. I looked away for two seconds. And more shit happened. Okay, I came back from one second, one life, and one HP. I'm going to beat this fucker, no matter what it takes. Okay, I don't have time to react because the controls are fucking stylus-based. There is literally zero seconds to react. There is actually 0.0, .0 fucking seconds to react. I am resisting with my brakes. I literally did it preemptively that time, and it didn't fucking matter.
whatever. One tiny sliver of health. I hate everything. <laughs> I take back everything I said about enjoying this game. This game is the worst fucking game ever made and I hate it. <laughs> it's finally over. You said that. You said it, Fox. Man, what a jerk. I mean, seriously. We really did it. Yay! No more fighting! Thank fucking God. End me now. Okay, so on a scale of 1 to 10. Negative 30. 10 being Dark Souls 2. Oh. How bad was the game? Positive 30 then. <laughs> this is way worse than Dark Souls 2. Dark Souls 2 was somewhat enjoyable for like a good portion of the run because I had friends playing with it. This game was actively horrible. And all of my hatred of it is now vindicated. Uh, Lightning Rainbow says worser than DMC. Yeah, definitely. By far. Alright, I'm gonna <laughs> mute you so I can do some story. We did it! Yeah. That was so tough. Bunch of no good pilots. It was thanks to you guys that we pulled through. This is the best team I've ever been a part of, Fox! You too, right? Right? Um... Yes. Crystal. What? We wouldn't have pulled this off without you. Thank you. Whatever. Yeah, thanks. You got serious skills, you know that? Yay! Crystal! I... I... Crystal, please. Find a way to forgive me. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Forgive you? Forgive you? That's funny. I mean, that is simply hilarious. You treat me like dirt and I just forgive you? Is that it? it jerk! So you won't come back to the team? Come on, Crystal! You gotta come back! Yeah, don't worry about this furry idiot. Just get your tail back here. We'll always be together. I promise. Oh, uh, Fox. You, I, I'm an idiot. I can't believe I'm actually going to do it. Falco, Slippy, thank you. Yay! This is awesome! The Anglars are history, and Crystal is back with the team! Now we just have to file our report with Peppy. We should go find him. Don't pretend, Frog. You don't... You just want to go see your new squeeze. <laughs> you got me, Root. You discovered my ruse. Ruse or no, we're plotting a course for Aquas. Great box, prepped and ready for launch. Let's go! Once again, Fox and his friends have saved the Lilac system, but this time, something is different. Fox has finally realized the true value of friendship and love. Fox and his friends head for Aquas in order to meet Amanda, Slippy's fiance. Amanda has come to a life-changing decision. She is going to join Team Star Fox and fly alongside her love with the support of her new colleagues. She will soar across the galaxy and get into all manner of adventures along the way. Thanks to Team Star Fox, Venom has changed. The oceans are warm and life-bearing, and the climate mild. Dash, grandson of Andros and Venom's new steward, strives to build a brave new empire on Venom, with himself at the pinnacle. A. That was a good ending. Starbox Command, thank you for playing. Uh, you're not welcome. Everything about me is aching right now. Heart, soul, mind, and body. Yeah. Yeah, my chest is fucking in pain. My fingers... I think I've developed third-stage arthritis, if that's a thing. I don't think... Well, it is now. I don't, I don't want to say it doesn't exist, because it probably does. 
My head is burning. I am so exhausted. I actually kind of enjoyed the like the first run through of the game. It was pretty casual and chill. And then they just decided to like up the ante and multiply it by cancer in the second one. Andy Palmer, I'm coming for you. I'm in your walls. I'm so glad I just immediately broke down and said, you know what, I'm going to use save states. Because if I had gone through all the game not using save states and then gotten to that ending part and had to play it legitimately, I would have lost my mind. <laughs>